If you're a Yellowstone fan, then you're probably desperately waiting for season 5. The last season was packed with so many unanswered questions that most people will be on the edge of their seats trying to figure out what this new season has in store for us. You're in for a surprise though, because the cast of this season is very different from what you might be expecting. Stay tuned as we discuss this and much more in today's video. First up, what's the big cast reveal? The new season premiere got announced, and there were a lot of new cast members, which fans were very excited about. That wasn't the problem. The problem is that one cast member is completely unrecognizable. How can this be? It's the same person, isn't it? How can one person change so much over the course of two seasons that fans wouldn't be able to recognize him? To understand this though, you need a little bit of backstory from season 4, especially in relation to the character Carter. In the last season, he was shown as a young boy who was kind of troubled and confused about life. He was adopted by the characters of Beth Dutton and Rip Wheeler, who are now husband and wife. He began to adapt to Yellowstone and really came to call it home. The character, played by Aussie actor Finn Little, is a new regular, although he was introduced last season. And let's just say, he quickly made his way into the hearts of all viewers. This wasn't much of an issue though, because this only means that fans were even more excited to see what was in store for the character in the next season, and how he progressed at Yellowstone under the guidance of Beth and Rip. Next, why is the character so interesting? Well, for one, the character has a completely different look, and it's nobody's fault. Little, who's 15 years old, is in the age where everyone has crazy growth spurts. And that's exactly what happened to him between filming the two seasons. And given the fact that the two seasons were shot almost two years apart, you can't really blame the young actor for growing a few inches. But it's definitely going to be noticeable for fans, who saw him last in season four as a little boy. The actor captioned an Instagram picture of himself with the hilarious confession that he showed up to the film sets and said hi to the film crew, but they didn't even know who he was. Sounds crazy, right? He couldn't possibly have changed that much in one year. But you never know with teenage boys and how fast they're capable of having a completely new look in just a couple of months. If you click on the new episode and see a tall adolescent sporting curly hair, just assume that it's the same Carter that we all know and love. If anything, this new development just makes the show all the more realistic. They're just a bunch of kids in the show, aren't they? So it's natural that they'll have growth spurts and it's refreshing to see that portrayed in the show. After all, don't we all go through that at one point? Lastly, what else is new in this season? Not much, considering many of the original cast members will just be returning to the series. Fans can expect to see the likes of Kevin Costner, Kelly Riley, Luke Grimes, Wes Bentley, Cole Hauser, Gil Birmingham on the screen as they await the new season. Apart from that, Catherine Kelly and Jen Landon have been announced as series regulars, which is quite a promotion for the pair. Something else that fans didn't expect from this season is that it will be split into two parts, with seven episodes in each. This means that they'll be getting a total of 14 episodes. The first part will be premiering in November of this year. Unfortunately, we don't really have a release date for the second part, but we're guessing that we're not getting it until much later in 2023. We understand that the wait is much longer than fans are ready for, but we're hoping that it'll be worth it. The film is taking place in Montana at the historic Chief Joseph Ranch, which is an extremely picturesque location for the fifth season. It also has a lot of relevance to the content of the show, since the ranch holds a lot of American history. In an interview, Kevin Costner, one of the stars of the show, said that the ranch can be considered another cast member because it adds a certain voice to the show because of where it's located and how it really helps bring the show to life. We wouldn't normally expect a filming location to be so important for a TV series, but in the case of Yellowstone, we think it's one of the most important parts. It's literally its own character. If there's one thing that fans can be excited about, it's that the new season is going to look really, really good on the screen. Now, in other related news, first up, Luke Grimes says happiness is hard to come by on Yellowstone. Luke Grimes, who plays Casey Dutton on Yellowstone, has had a very tough time in season four of Yellowstone. First, he lost his father and was shot himself. If that wasn't enough, he had to turn into a murderer to protect his wife and himself. But in the process, his son got extremely traumatized. Sounds pretty rough, right? How much can one character endure over the course of just one season? Grimes said that happiness was pretty much hard to come by, but he also said that his character was going to keep trying for his wife and son. He also said that he was looking forward to finding out what was in store for the character in the next season, just as much as the fans were, because Yellowstone does have a reputation for having twists and turns after all. There was some positive for Casey in the new season as well, since he was appointed as Livestock Commissioner, which is a job that he's really good at. Apart from that, it's also a job that his father really wanted him to take, so we're guessing he's keeping his father's memory alive one way or another. He said that losing his entire family was a terrible experience, but in a weird way, his character is growing up because he's learning how to better function in society. That's a pretty interesting outlook on things, but hey, if anyone's gonna know Casey's character the best, it's Luke Grimes. The new season is coming up faster than we expect, and with Casey's new job and his healing journey, we think that we can definitely expect better things to come for the character in the 
the new season. Next up, Yellowstone actually benefited from the pandemic. Although the first couple seasons of the hit TV show were released very quietly, with barely any attention from fans and the media alike, it propelled to fame pretty fast, with fans gathering in hordes to show their support for the Western classic. But why was this the case? Well, as insensitive as it sounds, it's mostly because of the boost that streaming services had because of COVID. That's right, when the fourth season and most popular season of Yellowstone was released, it was 2020, which was right in the thick of COVID, where everyone was stuck at home and binge-watching their favorite TV shows, Yellowstone being one of them. Fans all over the world fell in love with the characters sporting cowboy boots and trying to navigate their lives on a ranch. Apart from that, Paramount Studios played a huge role in the success that Yellowstone had over those couple months. The way that they promoted the show and the marketing budget they had must have done wonders for the way that the show was received over the next couple months. So what does this mean for the highly anticipated final season? So, after the success that the show and the network have had together, what does this mean for the new season of the hit western series? While you can currently stream the first four seasons of the TV show on Paramount Network and Peacock Premium, we're much more curious about where we can watch the much anticipated season 5. Word on the street is that you'll be able to watch Yellowstone if you're a Hulu subscriber, which is great because this means that there are multiple platforms where fans can watch the show. Apart from that, Philo and Fubo TV subscribers can also watch all four seasons. You can also purchase individual episodes for $2.99 or full seasons of the show for $19.99 on Prime Video. Sounds great, doesn't it? Given how many exciting new things are in store for the upcoming season of Yellowstone, we couldn't be more excited to see what the creators have in store for us. We're used to several plot twists throughout the seasons, but something tells us that this season will be much more grand than anything we've seen before. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Little's growth spurt right before the season 5 premiere of Yellowstone? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.